On November 16, 2012, Jess Reinheimer made her first appearance in an Easter Mennonite uniform on the Messiah campus in a game which we were playing Keene University. Uh, she'd been in the game about 30 seconds, took her first shot from the top of the key. It was nothing but net. I don't know if she remembers that, but um, she went on to score 12 points in the first half. She was, I think she missed one shot, and we thought, wow, this, she's going to be pretty good. Um, the problem was... Uh, she had a senior sister, or a junior sister at the time, that was also on our team, which is kind of unusual. And that sister was a captain, and Jess, because of her very nature, which I'm going to talk about here a little bit, uh, was very reluctant uh, to step on her sister's toes or anybody else from our team. And so, for the next two years, we spent a lot of time trying to convince her that she could shoot and could do this as often as she wished. Um, <laughs> It got to the point where our one assistant coach, Coach Baltimore, came to one of our practices and said, Jess, here's the situation. Every time you pass up an open shot, I'm simply going to approach you at some point in the practice and say, you owe me 10. And by that, I mean you owe me 10 push-ups. And hopefully this is going to sink in. And so I think she thought he was kidding, and this repeatedly happened for several practices. And Jess is a pretty smart kid and figured out that it took less muscular energy to shoot than it did to do push-ups. So she decided at some point she would shoot a little more. Um, and honestly, that's just who she is. Jess's typical schedule for this year, I know on many days would include, like he said, getting up at five o'clock in the morning. She goes and does a clinical all day, either at a local hospital or she was actually supposed to be at UVA today, which is a one hour drive one way. Um, she comes back at three or four o'clock in the afternoon and then goes to practice. Um, most college kids don't do that. It's one or two classes, a couple naps, then practice. Um, so she's, you know, highly unusual in that regard. I polled our college coaching staff, of which there are four others, and I simply asked them, what, what are some superlatives or some words that you would use about Jess? And here's what they said. Um, hardworking, student of the game, dedicated, determined, a leader who understands how to still be a part of a team, coachable, a coach on the floor, trustworthy, caring, ethical, gracious, rooted, friendly, dependable, and our one coach said we're blessed to have her for another year. And that really is the truth. Here's what I would say about Jess. Jess is not the fastest, but somehow she gets by you. She's not the strongest, but still rebounds at about seven a game. She's not the quickest, but she's pretty deceptive. She's not the purest stroke shooter, but she can shoot it. She's not the best ball handler, but she does dribble with a purpose. She's not our best passer, but she will find you and is very unselfish. She's not the best defender, but somehow does block a lot of shots and is smart and knows how to guard people. What does Jess do? She simply works and continues to work. And when others lose focus and when others give up and when others seem to lose their way, she doesn't. She just keeps on working. She seems to do that with a little bit of swag, too, which is good. Um, three parts to this award, and she fulfills all three parts. She embodies this, and at EMU, we're very proud of this. Uh, they mentioned in the video, I want you to try to comprehend this. Uh, since she arrived on our campus, we are 45-3 and three in our league. Three straight years of 15-1, and one, uh, and three straight appearances in the NCAA tournament. I told you what the other coaches would say about Jess. I didn't ask her teammates what they would say. All you got to do is look over there and see that five seniors showed up today. And I think that is more than just we get to miss some class. Uh, that says a lot, and I want to thank you guys for your support of Jess. Um, in closing, let me just say this. Um, the book of Proverbs, in the message paraphrase, in chapter 27, verse 2 says, Don't call attention to yourself. Let others do that for you. Another version would say, Let another man's lips praise you and not your own. And that's what we're here to do today. Uh, we're here to let somebody else praise you because you wouldn't do that. That's not who you are. Um, the other night I watched um, the ESPN documentary, I Hate Christian Leitner which I do hate Christian Leitner. I want to verify that. I'm a Carolina fan. Sorry for those of you that are Duke fans. I jealously, at the end of the program, thought of her when he made this statement. He said, I loved playing for Coach K more than I loved playing for Duke. 
And my thought is for you, Jess, I hope someday that's your statement. Thank you.